Ohio gozaimasu. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, July 13th. So, today is going to be another laid back day like yesterday. Um, something I forgot to show you guys was the view yesterday. It's actually really nice. And then just some trees over here, but so a nice view. Just look at that. Some money shot right there. Anyway, so today we're getting back on the bus and don't actually know where we're going. Um, I think we're actually going to stay in the Hiroshima area for a little while and then we'll move on to our next destination. Um, I'll let you guys know when we get there, where we get there, and then, yep, that's pretty much it. So guys, um, I will see you when I next turn on my camera. The best angle to take the picture is the other side. The side? Yeah, the other side. Yeah. About 600 meters above this building right here that still stands today. So where the first A bomb was used and exploded. Kind of a haunting thing to stare at. They've done some restoration stuff to like Make sure that this stays standing, keep it stable. Before, after. It's amazing this thing is still around. This monument was built in honor of all the children who died in the atomic bomb. 
Ten years later, or ten years later, a woman that was diagnosed with leukemia and made paper cranes. She was promised that if she can make a thousand, then she would be cured. But unfortunately, she got stopped at about 700 before she passed away. All these are paper cranes donated by the many schools around Japan to this monument. Everything you see here is paper crane. There's actually a bell right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh see this but that's a paper crane in there for the ringer it's interesting yep so kind of a depressing day today on the vlog I'm visiting um basically the bomb sites and whatnot around Hiroshima so that's probably what the first part of this whole video is going to be it's just running around actually we're heading towards the bombing museum Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Um, I'll see you guys at the museum. See a lot from this monument right here. You can see the building. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but there's a flame right there. A little lower in that metal platform. It's basically going to stay lit until the world has no more nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, that's never going to happen. I'm walking around. So, according to this inscription, the monument embodies the hope that Hiroshima, devastated on 6 August 1945 by the world's first atomic bombing, will stand forever as a city of peace. The stone chamber in the center contains the register of deceased A-bomb victims. The inscription on the front panel offers a prayer for the peaceful repose of the victims and a pledge on behalf of all humanity to never repeat the evil of war. It expresses the spirit of Hiroshima, enduring grief, transcending hatred, pursuing harmony and prosperity for all, and yearning for genuine, lasting world peace. That's what a plaque reads in the water. Anyway, guys. I'm going to be moving on now. I'm not doing too much video from in here. Um, I'll start videoing again when I get to the two circles, but after that, I probably not going to video too much more. Just to just let you guys know. This is a model of Hiroshima before the bombing. That green building right there in the center of the screen is the building where I did a video of. That's the one of the oldest buildings left standing. And moving on from there, this right here is what was left after the bombing. That red 
hole right there is where the bomb was dropped, where it exploded over Hiroshima. And then as you can see, that's the ruins of the area that we just visited right there in the dirt center. Then as you can see, all around, this is the havoc that an atomic bomb can cause. It's very eerie. Sorry this vlog is so depressing, but this is this is what we did in 1945. Something something I didn't notice if you actually look up there's a red ball that represents where the bomb was dropped and the fireball that resulted. So that's the bomb. There's the hypocenter and then that's the havoc. See all these? These are all letters of protest. Whenever um, there's a nuclear test after night in any country since 1968, the mayor of Hiroshima has sent a letter of protest to the country that is testing. There's some right here. And there's a bunch more on that wall over there. So, that's the A-bomb dome, that's the building we saw earlier, and if you guys can see the black line reading, if you can follow that black line all the way down, Hypocenter was above a hospital. And actually, this is a model of the A-bomb dome from the inside. Just kept as a reminder to the pain and suffering that it brought. These right here are the most recent. There's been a total of 604 letters sent. Actually, a lot of these are addressed to Barack Obama. And then, obviously, some to actually North Korea as well. It's very interesting to see. But they've been staying up to date with it. So we are just leaving the um, Hiroshima Bombing um, Museum. Um, I did no video of the second half, it was too disturbing, depressing. I just, I couldn't bear to even try to videotape any of that, it's just disgusting. Human, at, human nature at its worst. <laughs> so we're back on the bus. Um, actually, I think I'm going to call it here. I'm, I, I don't feel that it is appropriate to attach anything additional to this vlog. So, other than that, it's going to be it for today's vlog. Any additional video that I do today will be attached with tomorrow's vlog. Um, so I hope you guys understand. Um, I don't think you, I don't think anyone could truly understand the suffering and what these families have to go through until you come into this exhibit. It really is an eye opener. So guys, that's pretty much it for me for this video at least. While we do some recording for a vlog later today, but right now I just feel like this is not the right time to attach anything else. So guys, um, that's pretty much it for me, this is much happy for missing, and I will see you in the next video.